the triangle. A triangle is a geometric shape with three straight sides. It is called tri because it has three angles. An angle is that little space that's inside the corner of a triangle or another shape. Triangles can be very stable and solid like a mountain or awkward and broken. Artist Adia Millette thinks about triangles and materials in these ways. She thinks about where materials come from and how shapes can build something together like a pattern and they can also appear broken and jagged. She uses shapes to build all kinds of things that remind us of home or our past or of new things that we create. She uses many different colors, bright colors for her art and thinks a lot about home and places. We can see these places when we look at her triangles. What places do you see? Here is another artist, Katie Ann Gilmore. She uses little triangles to create larger triangles. It looks like she's building mountains too, one overlapping another. Kind of the way a computer would show the nooks and crannies of geography. Artists have used grand triangles in their art, especially for important mountains like Mount Fuji or Mount Hood from Portland. Local Portland artist Lisa Congdon created this amazing abstract of Mount Hood. Triangles are symbolic of a lot of ideas. And so I want to see if we can build with triangles, just like building blocks, to see what happens. Start by creating three dots on your paper and draw a straight-ish line from one to the next. Three lines make, you guessed it, a triangle. For this, I wanted to see what it would be like to have no plan at all and instead just to follow a pattern. So I will place a dot out to the side of one of the triangle side and then draw another line from the corners of the triangle over to the dot, creating another triangle. Oh, I like how that made a pyramid. I'm gonna just keep on trying this again. One dot and then two more lines to the corners of the triangle and so on. In this way, I can get lots of shapes and marks down on my paper before I have to decide what it's going to be. I'm going to speed up just to show that I'm going to keep on with this pattern. Some people might call this flow. By drawing and not thinking, your mind actually has some space to consider what it's doing. Which direction will I build? What is this beginning to look like to me? Does it remind me of a vehicle or a fish? It's funny how one triangle seed started something that's growing to be this big. Might it be a castle or part of a dragon? If you get stuck, you can always rotate your paper and decide where to build from there. Or you can start to make plans. Will this be a range of mountains? From this point, I decided I wanted to try and make this a rolling mountain or roller coaster shape. So I started to build out to the sides with my triangles. And here I added some lines to be misty clouds in the distance. What a grand crystally mountain. You might to want to create something like a gem. If you find that you accidentally have a four-sided shape, you can always cut it across the middle going from corner to corner to create two different triangles. It's kind of cool how that works. They're very mathematical. You can also create two cuts to create four smaller triangles. 
If you have a long rectangle, you can try a zigzag to cut it into smaller triangles. So many ways to make triangles. Remember, rotating your design can help you decide what to make it. I collected some paper from old security envelopes that came in the mail. This is kind of like having free, awesome paper with designs on it. A triangle is fun to cut because you just cut two snips and out it comes. You can throw your triangles down to see where they would like to be on the paper, or you can arrange them carefully one by one by one. Try gluing a collage of triangles together to see how they piece together. You might also fold your triangles and glue them to a paper standing up. Use your imagination to see what triangles can build for you.